Uh, why don't we go next to Aaron from Los Angeles? Aaron, you're on the air. Hello, <clears throat> Hello David. Um, I know you briefly mentioned this before, but I was wondering if you were ever planning on doing, I, 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 I wouldn't blame you if you don't do it, but like a deep dive on misinformation in uh, foreign uh, communities, particularly the uh, Latino community in the United States, because uh, I've noticed, especially around like the Long Beach, Linwood, Downey area, of LA County that there's a lot of um, just misinformation and propaganda that's getting spread oh, and yeah. uh, Spanish and Spanish language television is definitely no assistance to that. It's usually just fear mongering on most of the major networks like Univision. So I was wondering if there, if you were ever, or if you know of anybody that has done studies on the effect of this type of misinformation in those communities. I don't know of studies, and it's a very important topic. I sort of met this head on when I did, uh, I think it was like a 12 or 14 episode uh, election related show in Spanish on the Estrella Network, which is sort of like a competitor to Univision, but much, much smaller. They're only on in a, you know, a small number of markets. And I was genuinely shocked at the reactions. And part of the confusion is Overall, the American Latino community is pretty left. I mean, Cubans are, are more right wing. Some Venezuelans are, are more right wing. But for the most part, the American Latino community is pretty left. And yet there was a ton of like vaccine disinformation and other things. I told my stories of when I was in Miami a couple months ago and like multiple uh, Cuban Uber and Lyft drivers were talking about becoming magnetized from the vaccine and all sorts of conspiratorial stuff. That's anecdotal, but but it goes to what we're talking about here. Um, I think it's a great topic for a deep dive. I don't know if we'll do it. Maybe we will. I don't know if we have the, the bandwidth right now, but it is a massive, massive issue and it should be talked about. And, you know, you've got I think some people hesitate to talk about it because it feels like they're sort of like attacking Hispanic people or being xenophobic or whatever. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm from Argentina. I'm an immigrant from Argentina. I'm part of that group culturally. Uh, it's it's just a reality. There's a lot of that misinformation that's spreading. And part of it, I think, is that there are not enough counterpoints that are available, which is why I tried to have a counterpoint with that short run show that I did in Spanish. Uh, but yeah, it major problem. You're completely right in identifying it as uh, it's exactly as you describe. Yeah, it's yeah, I, I honestly don't think there is like a fair counterpoint. And even though like I do agree that many Latinos tend to be left, I feel like the culture especially, I don't know, just from my perspective as a Mexican American is very conservative in, from like a religious aspect. Yes. It's not even just Catholicism anymore. Like right. the evangelical movement within the Latino community has been exploding in this country. And I feel that like, that's really like, that is kind of another toxic thing all within itself. Yeah. Even though voting wise, American Latinos tend to vote for Democrats um, there's a lot of cultural conservatism that remains. And, and maybe that's part of the issue that leads to the disinformation spreading. You, I think you, you, you're probably onto something there. Well, thanks, David. My pleasure. Uh, very important topic. Appreciate getting the opportunity to ch uh, chat about it with you.